can a $25 microphone be any good for your filmmaking? We'll find out in this video. Hey there, welcome to the channel. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. Now, if you're new here and you're into filmmaking or editing, consider subscribing to the channel because we have a ton of videos all about that. Now, I'm a big fan of a company called Ulanzi. I've purchased a lot of their products myself from Amazon and they do a lot of iPhone holders and adapters. Now, we've never been sponsored by the company at all. It's just a company that I think makes good budget friendly products for holding things like iPhones onto tripods, that kind of stuff. Now, they recently reached out to me and they told me about this microphone they've made. This is the Sarin VMQ1 Mini Shotgun Microphone. Now, as you can see, it does look very, very similar to a Rode competitor. Uh, I'm not going to go on about that too much. But what struck me most about this was the price. They have this on Amazon for £25 here in the UK and about $25 in the USA. Now at the time I was actually looking for a little microphone for my Sony ZV-1. This is just the camera I take with me on the go if I'm doing some travels, that kind of thing. And the inbuilt microphone on this camera, if you've watched this channel, is actually very, very good. But I just wanted to up it a little bit. I didn't want to put a Video Mic Pro on the camera, which is what I'm using now, because it just makes it too big. So. This is only two centimeters by seven centimeters and weighs 68 grams. So my test today is to see how this compares to the built-in microphone and the Rode VideoMic Pro. So what I'm gonna do now is switch over to the Sony ZV-1. Okay, so we're now on the Sony ZV-1 and the audio you're listening to right now is the inbuilt microphone uh, on the Sony ZV-1. And you know what, I've been pretty impressed for an inbuilt microphone on a camera of this size. I actually think it's quite usable. It sounds quite good um, indoors and they include this little muffler as well. So if you go outdoors, uh, it reduces that wind noise. But right now I'm gonna switch to the Sarin microphone and we'll see what the difference sounds like. Okay, we are now using the Sarin Q1 microphone. I haven't made any changes or edited this audio at all. This is just the raw audio quality coming from the Sarin microphone. How does it sound compared to the inbuilt microphone of the ZV-1? I'm just gonna keep talking so you can hear that audio quality. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this. Next, just for fun, I'm gonna compare it against our 200 pounds, which is about, about $200 Rode VideoMic Pro. So of course, when you get a microphone that's that much more expensive, it should be loads and loads better. But we'll see how it sounds compared to the Rode VideoMic Pro. Okay, so test number three. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro. And of course, this should sound a lot, lot better than a $25 microphone because it costs around 200 pounds, as I've mentioned. But what do you think of the audio quality? Have you heard a big jump between the inbuilt microphone to the Sarin to now the Rode VideoMic Pro? I just wanted to do this test. It's not very scientific, but it just shows you what sound you would get if you were doing something like I'm doing now, where you're just in an office, a studio, or a bedroom talking to camera. Have a little rewind, listen back again, see what you think. And now we're gonna do some outdoor tests. Okay, so this is a quick audio test with the Sony ZV-1 built-in microphone. What I'm gonna do is just walk and talk for a second. We've got the included dead cap on the ZV-1 at the moment. How is the sound quality? In a second, I'm gonna to switch to the Sarin microphone. Okay, so we have now switched to the Sarin microphone. I've put this on the Sony ZV-1 and I'm using the included dead cat. So how does this sound? I'm just trying to move around a little bit so uh, we can try and capture some of that wind if I move quite quickly. But in your opinion, how does the audio quality sound compared to that inbuilt microphone? For $25, do you get a big bang for your buck or not? Now, because they include a phone adapter in the box, I thought I would try it out with the iPhone. So what you're listening to now is the built-in audio coming directly from an iPhone 12 mini. Now, just a word of advice, to actually plug this into the lightning port, you will need the Apple headphone to lightning adapter. But I'm gonna plug that in now and we can see how it sounds with this mic. Okay, so we have now switched to the Sarin shotgun microphone. What do you think of the audio quality of this microphone compared to that of the built-in iPhone 12 audio? Does it sound better? Does it sound worse? Is there noise? Let me know in the comment section below. I mean, I think 
you know, it's really worth looking at your audio. If you do do any kind of YouTube work or any kind of filmmaking, the iPhone 12 is so good now that you can get some really good video out of it. And really it's only the audio that lets you down. So if you compare the iPhone with a great microphone, you could get some great content straight out of your phone. So there we go. What did you think of those sound samples? This is the great thing I like about doing a review of a microphone is that you can actually hear for yourself. You don't need me to tell you if it's good or bad. You can make up your own mind. So let me know in the comments section below. Would you spend $25 on this? Do you think it sounded any good? Or would you save your money for a more expensive microphone? I actually think for the money it's pretty good. But let me know in the comments section below. And keep a check on the channel because we've got more reviews coming very soon.